So this article is called Cardioprotective Glucose Lowering Agents and Dementia Risk, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis. It's in JAMA Neurology, published April 7th, 2025. So pretty brand new. And you guys can grab this for free online and look it over. It's laid out well. It's got the study broken down on the first page. It's got some key points to look at. And I think it's very interesting. And I, from what I am sitting in, in the waist high, neck high um, piles of data that I've looked at, these peptides are pretty incredible on the neurologic system. I'll share a little bit more with you and then we'll close. The mechanisms of action, the way that GLP-1s work in the brain is that they decrease pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-6, TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta. They increase mitochondrial biogenesis and fatty acid oxidation. They increase endothelial repair and neurovascular support. They decrease microglial and astrocyte activation. They increase neurotrophic signaling, i.e. BDNF. They increase serotonergic and dopaminergic tone. So I can't think of anything else aside from exercise that has anywhere close to the impacts on the brain. If you're not keen on taking a GLP-1 and, or that's not something that's accessible to you, because right now the lawsuits are, it's crazy what's happening with the lawsuits. I'm just trying to stay out of all of it. Um, there are some other options. I just did a really interesting podcast with a woman named Sarah Kennedy, who is the CEO and founder of Calocurb. It's a GLP-1 stimulant supplement and fascinating, really fascinating interview. So I encourage you, that was just recently recorded and published. So I encourage you to go back and listen to that episode as well. We'll put that in the show notes in the further listening section. And I've got a whole Ozempic Done Right series of podcasts that you can listen to where I talk about a variety, and this is all for you guys, a variety of different implications, the bones, the muscles. I've already talked about that. I don't need to keep, I don't need to do another episode on that. So go back and listen to all of that. And then again, my free four part video series, which will take you into the course where I talk to you. And regardless of how you're choosing to dose the GLP one, you still have to do it right. If you're a clinician, you have to do it right. And if you're the general public taking these, you have to do it right. And the chances of you finding a doctor who knows what they're doing when it comes to metabolic health is not that great. So I highly encourage you to empower yourself through education and check out the big course while it is in the iteration it's in. I heard something today by a well-known and well-respected uh, doctor, influencer doctor, and someone I like very much. And they said, they were giving some, you know, really t horrifying stats about health in the United States and saying that there's nothing that we can do. There's no medication that we have to treat dementia. There's no medication we have to treat obesity. There's no medication we have to treat metabolic dysfunction. There's no medication that we have to treat type two diabetes that actually works, that we must address these issues with diet and lifestyle. And I completely agree they're not just a Band-Aid. And you'll have to go through and listen to the rest of my content to understand because it's a multi-hour storyline. Um, so I'm just a little bit embarrassed for people who are trashing on these peptides at this point. They're clearly not keeping up with the data. If your physician is one of them, they're clearly not keeping up with the data. And I have hours of it for free available on my podcast. And if you head to drtina.com forward slash Ozempic Uncovered, you can check out the GLP-1 Uncovered program. And like I said, it's free. It's a four-part video series. And from there, you'll be invited to join GLP-1 Done Right University. So with that, I will bid you adieu. Thank you so much for listening to the Dr. Tina show. I'll make sure that the link to the study is in the show notes so you can inform your doctor and all of your friends and all of the GLP-1 haters out there. And I'll see you next time.